Obstetrician Nicholas Baccalini works amid the beeps of machines monitoring prematurely born babies in a Beirut hospital. But now he contends with the bursts of bombs falling on his city. And he says he's seen a rise in premature births and infant mortality since hostilities ramped up between Israel and Hezbollah. One reason, he told Reuters, is that a bomb blast has enough concussive force to induce premature labor in mothers even at a distance. If you have a bombing not far away and the pressure that comes to where you are, the building comes to your belly and puts pressure on your belly, your water breaks. When your water breaks, the contractions start. And even if you're in the fifth month, you're going to give birth. So you have premature labors and you have early miscarriages. But that's due to the bombing, not the stress. 600 pregnant women remain in Lebanon with about 4,000 expected to deliver in the next three months. That's according to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs in October. Pregnancy can already be fraught with complications, but the war has meant many are also now displaced, without adequate shelter, nutrition, and sanitation. He says he's had mothers coming for deliveries, only to have no home to return to after. You deliver her, and then the next day you come and you say, Madame, we have to leave because there are so many women who want to give birth. We need the bed. She says to you, I don't have a house anymore, but I told you, doctor, I prefer to sleep another night in the hospital. Access to safe antenatal, postnatal, and pediatric care has also become increasingly difficult. The Lebanese government says the Israeli campaign has forced about 1.2 million people from their homes, since the conflict intensified in September.